Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own Discord bot in Python. So let's get started. So guys in today's video we are going to make an exhilarating cell command and it's going to be pretty amazing to follow it up because we will have reaction check for the cell command and we are going to change the prices of the products with the passage of time. So let's try to get into it. So firstly, I've defined this list, which is just name of several virtual people who will be buying your stuff in a self command. So let's start with the self command and I'm just going to say commands that command. You can have an aliases if you want to. And again, we're just going to have the self CTX and I'm just going to define the item name. We're not going to define the item count because we're just going to fetch it according to ourselves. And the default value of the item name will be all, meaning we're just going to sell everything, right? And the description would be sell non-collectibles for money money bag emote. Like always, firstly we're going to define the ID which will be ctx.author.id and we're just going to say await self.check and we're going to pass the ID. And then we're going to get the data of the user which will be await self.get and we're going to pass the ID. So the inventory would be the, you know, second index of the data. Because if you can see here, the first is user ID, second is money and third is inventory which is technically the second index. Now we're gonna get the sellables from this inventory. Uh, we'll do list comprehension. It will be for i in my inventory if my i not in collectibles. So basically collectibles are not sellables as all of us are acquainted with it. So the collectibles are here and if the items in our inventory are not collectibles then we are just not gonna consider them in sellables. So we are just gonna return the i. Then we're gonna get the name which will be random.choice out of our names. This will be the person who will be buying your, you know, our stuff. Item is equal to item.lower just to make sure of the case. And then we'll have the total amount variable which will be just the total amount of uh, all of our stuff whose default value will be zero. And then we'll have total count. Total count will be how many items are there and they'll be zero by default. Now we're gonna define a function to check the cost of the specific item and we'll pass the product as a parameter if my product in dig. So if you can see the cooldown for dig is 900 seconds, for hunt is 600 and for fish it is 300. The items which, we'll, which we get in dig will be most expensive while that to fish will be least expensive. So we'll have a range of the item cost. So each time you run the command there will be a certain different cost of the item. If let's say if you buy mangoes from the market then they do not cost you something like in millions but they do have a range certain range and the prices fluctuate. So I'm just gonna return an integer between 900 to 1200 if the product is in dig. Similarly, if the product is in animals, we're going to return from 700 to 1000. And if the product is in fishes, then we're going to return random.random 500 to 800. We're going to see if my item is all. If it is all, then we're going to check if the length of the sellables is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, then we're just going to return. You don't have any sellables in your inventory, expressionless emote and delete after six seconds. And if it is not the case, then we're just going to say my total count will be equal to my length of sellables. So basically, if the item is all, meaning we are going to sell everything, then, then we're just going to check the length of the sellables and that will be your total count. Pretty straightforward. And total amount, we're going to loop through and say for... I in my sellables, I'm going to say total amount plus equal to my cost of I. This cost is just the function we just made. And then we'll make an embed and its title will be offer, its description will be name which is the random name is offering you total amount, money bag emote for all of your items, total count in brackets in bold and discard.color.random. LF the item is in my sellables, meaning the item is in our inventory then we're gonna say total count is equal to my sellables dot count item this is just a default function for a list and we're gonna say total amount is equal to my total count into cost of my item so what i'm basically saying is that total count is my sellables like uh let's say i'm selling panda and let's say i have three pandas in my inventory then the total count for that will be three and the total amount will be the cost of panda which i get from this function into three so that is pretty much straightforward and then I'm gonna have this embed which will be offer description will be name is offering you total amount money bag emote for the total count of the like let's say three pandas so three into the item name and then the item emote and then just 
discard that color that random and in else i'm just gonna return await cdx that says no such sellable in your inventory expression let's delete after six after this i'm just gonna set a footer which will be rates of items keep some fluctuating you can decline and maybe try again later then i'll set an author which will say name is equal to for cdx dot author dot name icon url will be the author url and then a quick embed and this is the thumbnail if i show you the thumbnail and this is basically the redirecting URL. After this, I'm just gonna define message is equal to await cdx dot send embed is equal to embed. And then of course, I'm gonna add two reactions to the embed, which will be a take reaction and a cross reaction. And then we'll define a check function, which will be for the reaction and user. And we're gonna return user is equal to cdx dot author. So of course the, you know, the user should be cdx dot author. We don't care about anyone else's reaction. And the reaction dot emoji should be in or like a list of these two emotes and after that we'll have the try statement which will be reaction is equal to await cell dot bot dot wait for reaction add timeout will be like 20 seconds it's gonna be a float of course and the check will be the check function we just not defined without the parentheses make sure of that and we'll have the except async io dot timeout error so basically this timeout error will occur when the 20 seconds are over and the user have not reacted. If that is the case then we're just gonna edit the embed.title embed is this or default embed we're just gonna edit the embed.title to offer declined embed description to ctx.author.name didn't react in time and the color will be discard.color.red and after that is done I'm just gonna edit the embed so I'm just gonna say await message.edit embed is equal to the new embed after we made the changes of course. And in the else condition meaning the user reacted with one of those messages so i'm just gonna say reaction zero so of course we're gonna get uh, the reaction which user made the first time so i'm just gonna say dot emoji if that is equal to my let's say tick one you can also take cross but that depends right we are again gonna edit the embed dot title description and color to offer accepted you sold the items for total money money bag emote and then of course the discord dot color dot green and then we're gonna say await cell dot you know we're gonna add the amount so i'm just gonna say add i'm just gonna pass the id then the total amount and now we have to remove the items from the inventory once the user has sold them so i'm just gonna say if my like item is equal to all i'm gonna say for i in sellables i'm just gonna remove them from inventory so i'm just gonna say inventory dot remove i so I'm gonna remove each item from the inventory and in the else condition meaning there was a specific item so I'm just gonna say while item in my cell uh, like uh, inventory inventory dot remove my bad inventory dot remove item so there might be a case that there are more than one items like as I said in the starting there might be two or three pandas so we have to remove them until they are not existent in the list after that i'm just gonna say await self.bot.db.execute update set users inventory to inventory to inventory and the user id will be the id and i'm gonna say await message.edit so i'm just gonna edit the message again and i'm just gonna update the embed now if the reaction is declined like in this case as it was i'm firstly gonna you know copy this message and then we're gonna have this embed.title as offer declined description as you declined the offer and the color as discard.color.red so i guess this function pretty much makes sense everything is fine but there is one little problem i'll show you while we test this bot out so i'm just gonna quickly run it and let's hope for no errors check my inventory yeah i have pretty much a lot of stuff in my inventory and then I'm just gonna call the sell function. So by default, it will sell everything. As you can see, there are 31 sellable items in my inventory. I'm just gonna decline it for now. And yes, it says uh, you declined the offer. And let me sell hamster. It says, yeah, you, you can, you know, maybe sell hamster. But now if I call sell hamster again, and if I, you know, accept the offer of one of them, you know, both of them edited automatically cost of the item is different because this is a glitch because there are two reactions going on at the same time and the amount which is added in my balance is 926 we need to make sure that user is not engaged in any other transaction while he or she is calling the sell hamster function you, you know sell function not hamster in order to counter this what i thought of was we can have a transactions list it will be an empty list and we're gonna have the id of the people who are you know engaged in a transaction 
So by default, firstly, we're gonna check if the user is already in one transaction. So I'm just gonna say if ID in my cell.transactions transactions return await CDX send. You have already one transaction going on. Please end it to start a new one. After each function, we just need to add the transaction. Like we need to add the user. So I'm just gonna say append ID so that we can signify that the user is engaged in one transaction already. And wherever we are returning, we just need to say at the end of the function, you know, that sell the transactions that remove ID. So we're gonna remove the ID whenever we are returning. So I'm just gonna cut it from here. Let's run it again. It says sell, and if I call sell again, it says you already have one transaction going on. Please end it to start a new one. So it works awesome. I guess that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe and share for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.